Okay, today we're going to learn how to thread the baby lock machine. You're going to start with your spool of thread and um, you're going to place it on the top spool pin here. Take off the cap and place the spool of thread onto the spool pin. Replace the cap making sure that you can that your spool of thread is going freely. Um, next you're going to follow all the thread guides. If you can count you can thread this machine because it has it's very user-friendly and it has numbers to follow. So you're going to start with number one, go through the first thread guide which is this little metal piece right here. You're going to grasp your thread between your two hands and just kind of click this in place like that. You can hear it click and now it's in that thread guide. Now you're going to go around number two. Don't follow number two to wind your bobbin. Make sure you're going um, the outside direction to thread the machine. There's a little piece of plastic, kind of a square edge right here that you're going to just go around that number two and then follow the thread guides numbered all the way down. So here's number two. Number three we're going to find down here this curved arrow number three. That means we're going to take our thread and go around it. Now up to number four, if you can see this. Number four has an arrow that's telling you to go around this little um, metal thread guide. It's kind of like got a little hook like a finger. You're going to whoops, go around this way, put your thread in it, around that little metal piece, then come down. Number five is just through this um, thread guide right here. And number six, let's see if I can get a good shot of number six here. Number six is your little thread guide right above your needle. It's a little finger that kind of sits out like this and you're going to just place your thread behind that finger and you kind of have to click it into place there. Okay, so now there is your thread ready to go into your needle. Now, um, if you look, the needle is not in center with the presser foot. Again, whenever we um, thread this machine, we want to place the preset dial to number two, which then moves the needle position into the middle position. So now we're ready to thread that needle. This is sometimes the most difficult part of threading the machine is getting that thread in the needle. What I like to do is cut the thread on the end and get a really clean cut, moisten it by putting it in your mouth a little bit so that it's doesn't have any frayed edges and now if you can see you're just going to put that right through the eye of the needle and pull on that so now your top is completely threaded